Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel! If you're new here, my name is Anita, and I'm here with Michaela. And today we're doing a really fun, juicy, secretive, interesting, intense Q&A on Instagram. And I'm super excited. We're gonna do book questions, personal questions, mysterious questions, and everything else you want to know about us. And yeah, we have the questions on Michaela's phone. I'm sweating a little bit, so let me have an ice cube. And let's just get started with the q and I'm very excited to see these questions. I got a little them. sneak peek. Some of them yeah. are funny. Yeah. Okay, so the first question is, who is y'all's favorite person and why is it Clara? Oh my gosh, I wonder who wrote that. What? Um, I think her name is Clara Reads a Love. Oh my gosh. A Clara asked us about if Clara was our favorite person? <gasps> who, could, who could this be? We love you, Clara. We love you, Clara. Clara's back in LA. Otherwise, she could have been here with us, but she has to work. All right, next question. If you could be any book character in a book, who would it be? Not someone from the Hunger Games, not someone from Shadow Me. I don't want to be any one of those like traumatic characters, yeah. you know? These are like happy stories. Do you read happy I stories? I read happy stories. I don't read happy stories, so like, what's a, what's a happy character that has no traumatic experience at all? No main character has no traumatic experience. I don't want to be a main character. I want to be a side character at a coffee shop. You know, like in books, how there's often a coffee shop scene and there's like, and they hand them the, la the latte. That's gonna be me. I'm gonna be the coffee shop worker who let who hands the male main character their coffee because I don't. And then they say have a good day, and they say have a good day back. I don't want to be anybody else. I don't want to have any traumatic experiences. I was gonna say Chloe from Redeemed because she gets to be your son. <laughs> oh my gosh. An underrated book. When You Were Everything by Ashley was, Woodfall. I knew you were going to say that. We Are Okay by Neela Corm. Honey, you just get to fake dating. The Grim Rose Girls and Cemetery oh, Boys. Girl. I have so many underrated books. Um, mine will probably be Ghosted by J.M. Darhauer. I need to read that. I think more people are starting to read it now. And when I read it, I was like, why have I not heard about this? Yeah. Favorite thing about each other. Didn't we already answer this in a video? Oh, I love I'm that she's stories. shorter than me because then I feel super tall because all my other friends are like very tall. So I, I like my favorite thing about Michaela is the fact that she's shorter than me because then I feel really tall. My least favorite thing about Medita is that she can't get over my height. My favorite thing about Maddie is she makes me feel really smart because sometimes she's really dumb. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um, my favorite thing about Michaela is that she's very she's like um like a wildflower, like a flower, you know. I'm getting some plus points over here, you know. Um, my favorite thing about Maddie is that she's really funny and that, Thanks, dude. you know, sometimes she like really can't stop talking, but sometimes I really need her to just keep talking. Like yeah, she like, does, she never, it's never awkward because she's always talking. Um, favorite tea. Wintertraum. 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 Wintertraum is top tier tea. What's yours? You don't drink tea. I don't so, drink tea. Next question. Um, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm just sweating. I'm literally dying of the we're heat. We're both really hot right now. But we wanted to be cool and be in the car to film, so. Yeah, we were trying to be different. And then like other girls, and like they always film the car, so here we are. Absolute favorite book boyfriend. <laughs> Aaron Warner. Who do you think I was gonna say? Duh. Duh. Favorite author. Ashley Woodfalk, Stephanie Garber, Tata Moffey. Lauren Asher. I knew you were gonna say that. Um, dream place to live. Monterey, California, to some small little town in Washington where it's like foggy all the time. Three, a town in Switzerland in the mountains, like a really small one, like in, in an old, sh like shabby house. And four is somewhere in Scotland in like a large castle. I was gonna say, I don't care where I live as long as like my family's close. Aww, <laughs> the most wholesome response ever. How do you deal with self hate? Some tips, please. Um, something that always helps me with like really anything is like you're not the only one going through it like seriously like you just need to like conceptualize the fact that you're feeling this and that a million other people are feeling exactly like you everybody feels this way and everybody like gets over it and i'm always like okay if someone else felt this way and got over it like i definitely can mm -hmm. i try to focus on like the few little things i do like about myself and with my eating disorder or my depression all that's it's such a big problem that's why we need to open up about it and share you don't have to share everything let's not i overshare a lot you don't have to do that like just knowing that you're not alone in this already helps you so much because then you can also talk with other people about your self-hate and they're and they will understand they won't be like you're so dumb why do you feel that way no they will understand and then automatically the feeling will start to diminish and it starts getting better over a while but i still deal with self-hate almost every day so 
We're doing great out here. We're doing great. Worst popular book talk book. A Million Kiss in Your Lifetime, Things We Never Got Over, Things I Wanted to Say But Never Did, Frickin' Haunting Adeline, Any Book by Rena Kent. I was going to say Corrupt by Penelope Douglas. Oh my gosh, yes to that. Would you read Zodiac Academy? I really, no. really want to. But I also, I really hate with a burning passion the student teacher trope. And I know that that's in there. Vanessa read it and she really likes it. And she just says you have to look past the writing, which I can't do. So I'm not reading it. How tall are you both? 5'7". Five, 5'1". Five, what is a book you really like but the other person does not like at all? I know her answer. Mine is um, the Elsie Silverbutt. <laughs> I really like them. They're not her cup of tea, though. They're so, they're so good. They're so good. What is something you love about reading? The escaping this reality and literally being transformed into, I don't even know, a freaking dragon and like surfing over fantasy worlds. It makes me happy. Yeah, it's like, escaping. I don't, I don't know how else to put it. It just makes me happy. Great transition. What is your favorite movie? How to Train Your Dragons. Best movie out there. John Powell soundtrack. It's amazing. It's literally art. It should be in a museum. I'm not passionate about movies like that. Um, ah, excuse me. Oh, I'm just going to say the High School Musical movie. Oh, yeah. High School Musical movies. I'm yeah, just going to say, say that. I literally can't think of anything else. I'm more of a TV show girl. The Vampire Diaries, my fave. Okay, so the next question is favorite Taylor Swift album? Folklore Girly right here. Uh, okay, Folklore 1989 or Sometimes Evermore hit. Oh, yeah. Sometimes Evermore is 10 times better than Folklore. It depends on the time period in my life. Thoughts on ketchup? I love ketchup. I love ketchup. I hate ketchup. <gasps> what condiment do you like? Do you like mayonnaise? I like ranch. Ugh. I'm a, I'm a mustard girly. I was a ranch and chicken tenders girl. Mm. Um, this isn't a question, but I just want to let you know that you're amazing and I aspire to be you. Thank you. <laughs> I never know what to say. That's so sweet. Um, is this your first time seeing your friends in person? Yes. Yes. And it was super nice. We had so much fun. And I'm staying here for another three weeks now. We're going to have a nice little sleepover at the end of the month. All three of us like with Clara and it's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait. My mom's calling. How do you deal with criticism from the books you love? I really don't mind. Yeah. Yeah, everyone has their own opinion and it doesn't bug me. I know we pretend online, like I often like just oh my gosh, like you hate chatter me, like I'll never listen to like Yeah, it's, it's like a joke. It's sarcasm. It's sarcasm. Like I really don't care if you don't like Shatter Me or if you don't like any other of the books that I really love because we have different tastes. Everyone has. Um, where do you want to travel and what's the plus, uh, what's the best place you've traveled so far? Okay, here are my top countries I still want to travel to. Vietnam, Nepal, Madagascar, because I was supposed to go to Madagascar on a school trip, but then it got canceled because of coronavirus, which is really sad. And then my favorite place I've ever traveled to so far is probably... The U.S. to see me and Clara. <laughs> oh, um, Elba. I love Elba. It's an island. It's so pretty. You take a ferry over there gorgeous go to elba i haven't really gone anywhere but where i want to go lake como because of Virginia. lake como yes and i want to go to greece and i want to go to spain and bora bora what main character tv or book do you relate to the most caroline from the vampire diaries she was a really annoying in the beginning, but and I wasn't like that in high school, but like at the end, oh my god, I'm a Caroline girl. She's the mother, and I'm just like, oh my god, this is how I feel. Like you, you and me, girl, I'm like, we got it. We are like this. We are like this. Yeah, I don't really I don't really have a lot of characters I relate to. I more relate to books. So yeah, I'm just gonna say I mean I relate to Juliet on many levels because of how mm -hmm. depressed she is. So I'm just gonna say her. We're TV characters, right? Yeah, if you relate to... Hiccup Haddock you know. from uh, How to Train Your Dragons. I know he's a boy, but the fact that he thinks he doesn't fit in, he's like the weird one in the family. He was supposed to be different, and his family had other expectations on him. Right there, that's me. Favorite Shatter Me book? Ignite, Ignite me. me. Yup. Has do a little life shown glycin god. <laughs> that was really good. I have not read a little life yet. So sorry, everyone. But I'm going to read it with Clara. We're going to have a reading vlog for it together. Favorite Lego set you own? Mine is the Orchids. Whoa, show. 
my favorite is either the type no it's the typewriter my favorite is the typewriter it's mm. so pretty it's it's gorgeous it i'm so happy i own the typewriter that's like my favorite lego set right mm. now oh which lego set is next to buy on your list mm, the two new lego star wars heads for my collection obviously we have cody's and rex's heads like captain rex and commander cody Two book characters from different books that you think would be cute together. Oh, Ooh. I love this question. Dang, that's a really good question. I love this question. <gasps> I need a... If the, the problem is I'm, I don't want to separate a couple. I want to say Stella Alonzo and Kenji Kishimoto could be a cute couple. Oh my god, I would actually die. That sounds so good in my head. That is right? so good. Right? That's so good. I want to see Xander, Xander Hawthorne from the Inheritance Games be together with Pippa, Fitz, and Bodie. Or I want to see Xander with Julia Ferris. I think Jameson. I would love to see like a sunshine, sunshine couple between Jameson and Chloe. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Those are the couples, guys. Favorite Taylor Swift song? Oh, don't ask me that. I There's so many. I can't pick an all-time favorite. Let's do one from each album. Let Midnight? Me... Well, it was Labyrinth, but I feel like for Midnight, for me now, it's Would've, Could've, Should've. I sing that song. I blare it. For me, it's Midnight Rain or The Great War. Oh, I it's love Midnight The Great War. Rain. It's Midnight, Midnight Rain. Rain. Okay. Well, we're going to go in order like this. So, okay. Red Taylor's version. Well, all Too Well, The 10-Minute well, version. Minute version. Duh. Fearless Taylor's version, that The Way I Loved You. I'm gonna say The Way I Loved You too, because I haven't listened to a lot of Fearless songs. Sorry guys. Everyone, I don't know the type, it's, it's one of the like extra songs. Oh, Right Where You Left yeah, Me? Yeah, Right Where You Left Me, How that's the I one. Know? Okay, I love this album. Tolerate It. Oh yeah. Or Ivy. Okay, Folklore. I'm not gonna be able to pick one. Mirabal or Mirabelle. The Lakes? My Tears Ricochet. This Is Me Trying Ooh! or Peace. I love peace too. I love all. I love. I love the last I great love American Dynasty. I, I love. love the, I love Invisible Strength. Yeah. I love the entire album, guys. Oh, Invisible Strength. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. I can't pick Lover. Oh no, Daylight. For Lover, I'm definitely the Archer because I felt very seen. Reputation. Getaway Car. I really like Blame. Don't Blame Me. Oh, that one's so good too. And Getaway Car, obviously. Okay, next we have 1989. New Romantics. New Romantics. New Romantics clean. is top. Or Clean. New Romantics or Clean or Wonderland. I love Wonderland. Do I love Out of the Woods? I, this is so hard, guys. Speak Now. Oh, I don't listen to a lot of. I don't know a lot of Speak Enchanted. Now. I'm just going to say Enchanted. <gasps> no, That's Dear John. It's Dear John or Back to December for me. Oh. Ah. Broke me. Taylor Swift debut. Um, I'm gonna say this. Um, this. I'm gonna answer for me and Clara for this. Uh, because I don't listen to this album, but I'm gonna say teardrops on my guitar and Michaela too. Michaela, Clara, and me. Teardrops on my guitar. <sighs> Worst book you ever read. I have one. I don't know the author's name. I think it's called A Guilty Vow. The Guilty Vow. I just, oh, I can't even tell you what I didn't like about it at this point anymore. Other than everything, I just, I mean this in the nicest way possible. I hated that book. <laughs> okay, I, I have a few. Every book with Monica Murphy, every book with Rina Kent, that one book with Marnie Mann where he kills her family and then falls in love with her. Oh, I remember when you told me about that book. That book. There's so many. Just watch every single one of my Hauling videos. Every single one of those books. Hated them. Favorite book trope? Single parent. Well, if we're going overall, found family. What has been your favorite part of visiting the States? The friends. Just being able to see both Michaela and Clara, and I'm going to see my best friend. Favorite animal? Ooh, a turtle. Good answer. I like giraffes. Would you rather never read Shatter Me Again or never find the love of your life? Do you hate us? Bye bye, shatter me. I gotta find that love life. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, the same person asked, would you never, would you rather never reread Shatter Me or never watch How to Train Your Dragons again? What are you doing to me? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my, gosh. my gosh. I'm gonna say something really, really bad and like, people are not gonna like me anymore. You're I'm picking How to Train Your Dragons. Thank God I didn't drink water because I would have spit it out. I'm picking How to Train Your Dragons, everyone. I'm sorry. That is like the only movie. Like, that is my life. What do you want to be? An author. A teacher. We're waiting on that, though, for me. 
What song are you listening to? All oh, the girls we've loved before. We've been listening to that song mm-hmm. nonstop. Um, what career did you want to follow when you were young? I wanted to be an astronaut for a really long time, but then I got depressed, and that's like a really big reason that you can't do it anymore. I always really wanted to be a teacher. It was always in the back of my mind. Um, favorite TV shows? The Vampire Diaries. Dodge New Dragons TV series, the Star Wars The Clone Wars TV series, Castle, the crime show. When's your birthday? 26th of November, 2001. Do you want me to say yours? Uh-huh. 11th November of 2001. I'm the youngest out of the group. I'm an 11-11 baby. Favorite memories as a kid? My favorite memory as a child was when my siblings were born. That's so wholesome. It's true though, like when my sister was born, when Cassie was born, I asked the nurse, when can we give him back? Oh my gosh, I remember you saying that. I like, wanted, I did not want this boy in my house. I wanted my parents to have Mason so bad. I really wanted a brother, and I got one. I'll just say that too. Yeah. If you were a book, what book would you be? Oh shoot, I would be a self-help book. <laughs> Come on, let's be serious. You would be reading me my self-help book. Oh, I'd book. be a biography, bro. You would be a biography. I would be a biography. Uh-huh. Best book couple. Aaron and Juliet, Kenji and Nazira, Pippa and Ravi. Chloe, Santi. I knew you were gonna Aaron, say. Aaron, Juliet. Um, I love Noah Riley from Say You Swear. Um, I like the couple in the Inheritance Games. What book changed your view on life the most? I love you so much, by the way. I wouldn't say that the book My Dark Vanessa changed my view on life, but it did open up a lot more thoughts. And like whenever now old people like talk with me about stuff like that, like, why didn't you tell anyone? How did you not know that what was happening to you was wrong? I referenced that book. Mm-hmm. It's going to be One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I really like the concept of like one true loves. Like there are, you can love multiple people in your life. And you know, just because like you loved someone like at any point in your life. And this isn't a spoiler because like she loved a guy in the past. She loved a guy now. And then she like needed to pick which one she loved. Just because like she loved one more than the other. Like and they, she was stayed with someone for the rest of her life. Like it doesn't take away from the fact that she loved that other person so much. And that their love was so beautiful. And it really emphasizes the fact that like you change people can change with you and you can change and fall out of love because of that yeah and like you can you can still love someone and not be fit for each other i don't know i just really liked the way that love was depicted in that book that tr- that can be translated to friendships too okay okay now we're doing the last question everyone oh, shoot, that's so... we gotta go to dinner so pick a good one oh my god I was having a hard, a very hard time before. Your videos brightened my day. You helped me a lot. I literally love you so much. This is why I need to read read all my DMs because I know there's like really important nice things in there, and I just have so many that I can't catch up with them all. Okay, last question of today is: What is your favorite book quote? And I already know what book I'm picking for the quotes. That's "We Are Okay" by Neil Lacour. But I don't know my favorite one because that entire book is just such a life lesson. It's like about friendship and sexuality and losing and depression. And there's so many good quotes about how alone you feel in depression, but how you will be okay again. Like it will go away. It's just such a beautifully written book that the entire book is just a quote. I was okay just a moment ago. I will learn how to be okay again. Love that one. I thought that it was more likely the opposite. I must have shut grief out, found it in books, cried over fiction instead of the truth. The truth was unconfined, unadorned. There was no poetic language to it, no yellow butterflies, no epic floods. There wasn't a town trapped underwater or generations of men with the same name destined to make the same mistakes. The truth was vast enough to drown in. I'm gonna pick something from Redeemed. I need to think. It's when she's talking about, I don't have this written down. She like shared her wish journal with him and she, he was like, why are you sharing this with me? And she's like, I want to like, I wanted to share a part of me like that made me vulnerable with you. Oh, like you believe that your weakness is that you're missing a leg. And I think is mine is my crippling loneliness and that I wish instead of do. He, in his head, he's thinking like, I wish I could tell her that the magic is was, was within her, not some words scribbled on a paper. She was really vulnerable. She's like, I want to share a part of me that made myself vulnerable with you and i was like oh my gosh i nearly started crying guys that was a lot of question everyone that was so much fun how did you like today's q a michaela i loved it i feel like you guys know us all a lot better now and i love it also you can answer any of the questions you want in the comment section i would love to know uh whatever you think about any of these questions so 
Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you can have a thumbs up. And if you want some more of my content, you can subscribe. Yeah, as we already said, comment down your favorite book quotes, so your least favorite book, and your favorite Taylor Swift song. I hope you all have a great day, even at the morning, whatever time's onion. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Go read a book. Read any book we have mentioned in this video, okay? Yes. So yeah, thank you again so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Happy reading. And see you next time. Bye. Bye.